Michael Calvert, Operation New Birmingham. Today, downtown Birmingham is bustling with activity. Historic buildings are being revived. More than a billion dollars worth of construction has been completed and the pipeline remains full. People and businesses are moving back to the city center. But that wasn't the case when an Ohio native moved to Birmingham in 1982 and took the reins of Operation New Birmingham. But Michael Calvert believed in the magic city, even when some others did not. When we arrived, I think it's only fair to say there was so much pessimism about the future of Birmingham and even more so about the future of the city center. But over the years, and as we all know, change doesn't happen overnight, Mike stayed at it once he came to this community, went to so many meetings, dealt with so many tough political situations, didn't lose his cool, uh, stayed very professional, and we've all been the beneficiaries of, of uh, not only his style, but the substance of his leadership. I think Mike sold Birmingham well and I think Birmingham's fortunate for it. Calvert arrived in Birmingham with an impressive pedigree, having worked as Director of Commercial Revitalization for the National Development Council and the City of Baltimore, where he served as city planner. In Birmingham, he found a city with tremendous potential, but also some challenges. It didn't take long for people to realize Calvert was up to the task. No was the beginning of the conversation, and that was fine with Mike. He didn't, he was undeterred, and he would go about uh, getting a lot of notes, uh, kissing a lot of frogs, so to speak, uh, before he could get things done. In addition to traditional challenges that come along with encouraging development in urban areas, Birmingham also presented some unique racial obstacles, but Calvert proved to be adept at bringing people together. You know, Michael came to Birmingham at a sort of critical time for us in the early 80s. Uh, we were undergoing transitions. Our economy was in shambles and changing. We were getting political change. The city for the first time had just a few years gotten a black mayor. The city council was moving towards becoming majority black. Uh, we had to have new ways that social contact, social change, all of that going on. And Michael walked in, into the city at that particular time, made some great contributions. He got us to talking about our community, not them and us, and, but he's, you know, our community, and yeah, thinking that way. Calvert had a rare personality that helped him unite different groups and facing obstacles without losing sight of the ultimate goals. Under his leadership, Operation New Birmingham launched or contributed to a number of key initiatives, including the City Action Partnership, the creation of incentives, and multiple programs to spark investments and entrepreneurs, among many others. He created, in a meaningful way, what we call public-private partnerships. A lot of places people talk that talk. But they used to say when I was young, they don't necessarily walk that walk. And Michael did that. He helped us to create a public-private partnership. Faith of the business community and city government and the renewal scheme. And we hold it a lot to it. Buoyed in part by Calvert and ONB, commercial development began to increase in the city center even at times when some still doubted that residents and businesses would return to downtown. I, I will tell you, people were fleeing uh, the city, and especially the downtown here. And uh, so people didn't have a vision that could be. Calvert's leadership was instrumental in a number of catalytic and influential projects, including Railroad Park and Regions Field, that paved the way for the current building boom that's going on in the Magic City today. Calvert was an early believer in the potential of downtown baseball and helped set the stage for the project. The collective whole of these projects that have occurred and certainly occurred under his tenure um, are part of the fabric that makes the city. 
He also played a key role in paving the way for redevelopment projects at a number of historic Birmingham buildings. Understanding how to look at these projects, understanding how to uh, find the right people to do those projects was important. I think Mike did a great job with that. Those who know Calvert say the success is a testament to his personality. I don't think I can ever remember him losing his cool in a situation where I think most of us would have sort of risen up and maybe even reached across the table at somebody's neck. Mike had just sort of a, a real ability to sort of roll with the situation, deal with the larger goal to keep everybody focused. Over nearly three decades leading Operation New Birmingham, Calvert and his wife, fellow Birmingham Business Hall of Fame inductee and longtime Innovation Depot CEO Susan Matlock, shaped the current landscape in Birmingham in ways few couples ever have. I look at downtown today, I see condos and things going up in the commercial areas, and I think, oh man, Michael Calvert, he knew what he was talking about. While Calvert has always been quick to note the collaboration and teamwork that made so many projects possible, his contemporaries say it's hard not to drive through the revived city center and think of the role Calvert played in its resurgence. I think by any standard, uh, when you just step back and look at what all is going on now, there's no one more responsible for the positive, dynamic development than Mike Calvert.